Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to have you both with us here today. Um, first of all, well done for getting all through all those nominations. <laughs> um, you know, what was it like to be up there announcing all those incredible films? Um, just shows just the health of the British independent film industry. Anything stand out for you guys? Well, I think there was there's 36 different films that are nominated today, which I think is an, an amazing feat. Um, that, that obviously prove, proves the fact that there are numerous and numerous and many many sort of diverse different stories from different parts of the world for different reasons i think that that in and of itself is a celebration of the sort of work that the, the, the industry and the people within the industry are, are doing and churning out and you know as much as i haven't seen one of the 36 yet yet yeah. um i'm very excited to kind of get get stuck in because i think that you know the wonderful thing about a British film, uh, independent film especially, is that you know we make great stories. So, yeah, yeah um, and it's just so nice for them to get their accolades because I feel like you know with independent film, there's such a craftsmanship to storytelling. So it's just really nice for them to be celebrated in that. And coming to both of your like incredible careers, um, what have been some of the highlights for each of you, and, and what you've got coming up next? Uh, one of my proudest moments, I suppose, was actually an independent film that we did called Journey's End, which is based on the play um, that most schools sort of uh, attack in, you know, at high school level. Uh, but that, and the fact that we kind of made something out of nothing, that there was a real sort of prideful moment, like stepping away and watching, watching that on the big screen. Uh, I don't know that many people saw it, but <laughs> it's, it's still one of my proudest moments. Like knowing, knowing that we had like a shoestring budget, knowing that everyone in it was not in it for the money, but everyone was in it because they wanted to be in it, making this incredible, like really, really powerful story come to life. And um, I think it's, it's that aspect of my, what I do that making films, making movies is just, is just like, I mean, it's just a joy. Um, so yeah, I hope other people have the opportunity to kind, of, you know, to, to kind of feel that. And do you feel it's very different? I mean, I guess being involved in sort of like the real big budget, like Hunger Games kind of franchises, and then going back to independent film. It's it's a completely different ball game. Um, I mean, sure, you you kind of know it with Rocks and then Dangerous Liaisons, right? Yeah. Like it's it's a, it's a completely different. Thing, well, yeah. um, but I, I enjoy both for different reasons. But uh, th there's something about independent film, especially that like, there's there's a real, as I say, a passion that I think everyone feels, and everyone's not, everyone's in it for the right reasons, and you know that they are. No one's doing it just for the cash or just because it's sort of a, something, you know. I don't know that they think it might be a hit or whatever. It's it's sort of everyone's doing because they think it's important. Um, yeah. I think it was Benedict Cumberbatch said a very candid comment that you know sometimes doing the big budget things allows him to do more of the independent stuff, and so you're kind of creating that balance in your own career. Exactly, I'd say I'd say that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for you coming from Rocks, I mean the phenomenal success with that, and that's kind of also launched you into a different world in, in terms of what opportunities you get. Sorry, say that again. Sorry. And um, coming from the phenomenal success of Rocks, and then has given you opportunities to do other things yes it has um, it has and I'm just trying to you know venture into different things try out different things you know and see what's my fancy and what's not and tell us a bit about Dangerous Liaisons the sort of prequel isn't it you're going back to a bit of an origin story <laughs> yes yeah, prelude I think you know there's a whole thing I don't know what that means but um, yeah um, I'm really I'm, I think I'm excited I think um, I'm really nervous I hope people like it uh, we put a lot of time into it um, and a lot of effort into it and um, yeah so people enjoy it yeah tell us a bit about the character you're playing and, and the role you've got yeah so i'm playing victoire um she is absolutely crazy no i'm joking i love her she's great um she's kind of the catalyst to the story and she gets up to a lot of stuff <laughs> and it's kind of a new era, isn't it, of like costume period drama, which there's so much more diversity and kind of that contemporary feel that perhaps we didn't used to have in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, really refreshing to see that because, you know, these people definitely existed in this time. So let's show them. Um, and I'm just glad to be doing that and bringing that onto screen. And for you, Sam, your future projects, is it da Daisy Jones and the Six? Um, can you tell us a bit about that? So it follows um, a group, a uh, band uh, of mixed uh, genders, um, <laughs> sort of through through the 70s, and so the the, the the rise and I suppose fall in, the, in, in you know between their relationships and the, their music and um, yeah, it's 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 very. 
70s rock and roll. <laughs> I mean, you know, right. so I had, you know, long hairs, or, you know, long hair, the, the flares, all the, all the good stuff. It's a bit Fleetwood Mac inspired, is that right? It's Fleetwood Mac inspired, yeah. Everyone thinks it's like an origin story. It's not an origin. <laughs> I am not playing Lindsay Buckingham. Um, but it's it's definitely, you know, it's 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 fun. It's a roller coaster ride for sure. It follows them through like 10 years of their, their kind of success and um, drug habits and all sorts. So there's, there's, lot, there's lots of drama and uh, lots of fun. All right, fantastic. Lovely to chat to you both. And thanks so much for speaking to us today. Thank you. Cheers.